Alright guys, uh, I've got a 2018 Renault with the uh, 1.6 twin turbo fucking piece of rubbish. Um, Renaults suffer quite badly from Sears duck EGR valves. As you can see, this one's now moving quite freely because the valve took that out, that was all clogged up with soot in there so I've just gone and cleaned a lot of that out took the top off which is just six small torx bits now you can do this in the car but the wiring loom is a bit of a pain in the arse and it's it's kind of easy to take it out even though they're a bit fiddly to get out because you've got the wiring harness over the top of it um, if you don't know I'll just show you the EGR valve location so you've got the engine bay here you have the washer bottle uh, water bottle here and the uh, oil fill here. I've just popped the oil fill back out of the way. Look, it's just back there. Pop the bottle off and just put that to the side, and it actually sits just down here underneath this wire and loom. There's a metal bracket underneath, and then a plastic tray that the wire and all this wiring sits in. There's a bolt underneath here, one on top that releases this and there's a little nut on a stick it up on a peg which is actually that peg to that nut off that bracket comes off the bottom cut all the little tires holding that and pull that off you have to disconnect the fuel rail pressure sensor which is there which goes on over here to get the get it up there's a little bracket just here uh, that's held on by a little eight mil and it's got a couple of clips in it for the temperature sensor so the temperature sensor's there um and yeah that's all down there uh so yeah that's that's the egr hole just two bolts hold it on um but yeah this one was actually stuck and it said it was stuck the code for was for the stuck egr stuck now these are 217 quid trade currently so if I can free this up and put it back together for the customer and it lasts another 60,000 till it sticks again then that's what we are going to do and as you can see now that is that's lovely and free it's springing back lovely one thing worth checking when you've got the cover off these as well just have a look inside there make sure none of these has got I mean that's beautiful inside there to be honest I mean this thing's quite new but it, this valve looks like it's actually been replaced, so I'm not convinced it's original. So, I'll pop that back on there and just show you how it works. So, what I, what I did was I took the lid off and I just went like that, and it was really hard and I struggled. But now, you see the motor lets go, it goes straight back. So, I've got that fixed up now. So, now what we need to do put this back on the right way round and then we will be good but yeah just thought I'd share that so yeah if you've got an EGR that's stuck it's worth just popping the lid off I mean I've found them before where the spring here is actually snapped and that's all spun round inside so it's actually not got a spring load to bring it back because these aren't powered to go close so if they power up and open and the spring snaps, then they won't close. So sometimes it's just as simple as needing to uh, find a, a spring or repair the spring to make it wind back. Other times it's just as simple as winding it and freeing it off. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.